use four different alloys to make our miniatures. We use two to make the tins that make the moulds, mm -hmm. and then we use two for production. And, and it comes in a nice little ingot form like yeah, that, does it? It comes in a single kilo ingot, and we can probably make 30 or 40 figures out of that. Right. These are the moulds we use. They're made from silicon, and uh, the figures are pressed in using these presses, and each figure is then uh, cut in, vented in, and fed in, and then... And then it's keyed so that it lines up, that's what those pegs yeah. are for. There is a, there is a notch in the, in the end that we, we line up. Now, we use, we use um, corn flour. We stopped using talc about five years ago. Right. Um, it's organic, it burns off in the pot, it doesn't create sludge, it gives you a better finish on the models, yeah. and it also gives us a better yield with the metal. We produce a lot less dross than we ever did. Okay. So it also keeps the fumes down as well. Right. And that's just commercial corn flour that you, cook, you make your gravy with? Yeah, you just go up to Brooks's and buy yourself a box of corn flour and you're away. Right. So, centrifugal casting machine. We control the speed, the time and the pressure. So when the two plates go to come together, it spins. And then depending on how much pressure we put on it, depends on how tightly it squeezes. Right. And that allows the metal to either move freely or to move in a restricted fashion. So, you don't need a lot, you don't need very much at all. Then you tap most of it off, put the two halves together, put the mould in the machine, put the top plate on, and then you're ready to go. Now. Look at this, that's, that's no gravy boat, is it? Right, the metals, we run between 320 and 370, depending on what we're making. Uh, with lead free, we run a little bit cooler, but average is about between 320 and, and 370. This one's on 360 because we're doing mostly figures, but if we were doing ACW or anything else flat, it can be a bit cooler than that. What the metal wants to do is it wants to go back to being a solid. Right. So that's how quickly it sets. It sets that in a couple quick. of seconds. So what the caster has to do is get the metal in there quick enough with all the settings right to make figures that are saleable. There's no prescribed time for it to spin, but 30 seconds would be the minimum, and then it depends on what figure you're casting. Shields, spears, ACW doesn't have to spin for very long, 30 seconds is enough. Something a bit bigger like Boromites, Boromite Rock Riders, uh, the Ursus, they need to spin for a couple of minutes. And is that so the metal moves through the mold? It's so it sets. Because right. it's a crystalline structure, the metal itself, if it, it cools from the outside in, and right. if you don't let it cool down properly, it will just crumble, and I mean literally, it just crumbles away. Right. Um, and at the very least, it will just break when you take it out of the mould. So it has to be set before you take it out. So over a couple of spins, you learn very quickly how to judge what time yeah. it is. And a lot of this, like we saw upstairs, there's a lot of it is like knowledge and experience tells you how much, how long. There is, there is the big black book of casting. So before you could cast on a machine, we would take you through the book. Right. There is a science. Yeah. And the science is in the standard operating procedures. Mm -hmm. So that teaches you how to cast. Yeah. And then experience tells you how to deal with each mould. Yeah. Because each mould is different. When they're cold, they do they work one way, and as they get hotter, they, they change the way they want to behave. Some don't want to behave at all. So seeing the moulded like this is why you can't just have one figure from a particular blister as well. Because uh, you have to mould them in sets. No. Uh, when we first started, everything was done in sets because we were quite small. But now commercial pressures are such that for us to get thousands of figures out a day, and we're doing somewhere between 14 and 16,000 figures a day in metal. Here on site? Yeah. 14 to 16,000 yeah. figures a day? Each cast has got to do between 1.8 and 2.2 two a day just to, to meet the demands of the customers. Wow. So we, we don't And do we tend to think that it's all very plastic oriented these days. I couldn't imagine you selling 15,000 figures a day. Well, no. in the last few years, the Kawasaki survey has shown that people still want metal. Yeah. And metal's still the, the, the favoured, the, the choice of, of gamers around the, the right. globe. My choice. Um, 
So we, we do a lot of single figure miles now, which is a commercial decision so that we can get bigger numbers out quicker. Right. The, the slower sellers and, and the, the, the less popular parts of ranges, we still do as sets. Right. But even, even then, if you're doing some of those, you can still slow it right down. And we just don't have the time to be slow anymore. No. We, we've got to get good quality um, miniatures out the door in, in big quantities. So mm. uh, that's why we've gone to single figure miles. And how many people work in, work in here most we, days? We've got seven and a half casters. We've got one guy who's on kick time, does two days a week. Right. And, there are, and there's seven casters plus Peter and myself who look after the room. And right. between them, they like I say, they're belting out nearly 16,000 a day. So uh, there's a lot of metal goes through. There, there certainly is. Uh, well, when it's finished casting, you open yep. it up and that's what you get. Wow. And that gives you... And then we take these figures out, we put them in individual tubs, and then they go into the packing room and then they're packed along with cards and, and bases and all the rest of it. So but do you do any quality control absolutely, here? Absolutely, yeah. Every, and can, is it usually like it's a whole one that's gone wrong, so you just start melting down and start again, or? You check them in the mold first to make sure it's filled. Mm -hmm. And then when you take them out, with this one that we did earlier, yeah. <laughs> you check both sides, you check to make sure everything's there. And if it's all there and you're satisfied that it, the quality is good, and you send it off to packing to be done. But we don't waste anything. Everything gets recycled in this room. So it just goes back in the pot and we start again with it. Thank you so much for your time. Just remind our viewers again, what was your name, sir? My name's Peter. Peter, and you're the chief metal caster here? No, I'm the, I'm the casting coordinator, yeah. The casting coordinator, sir. All right, thank you so much for the insight. It was really nice to Not see you. Not a problem, anytime. Thank you. So if you like bolt action and you're looking to start the system or start a new army, on our website modelingforadvantage.co.uk we have a range of the starter sets as well as a few of the starter armies. Do consider buying from us as a way of supporting the channel. Thank you for watching.